Uh, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. So what I'm going to be doing now is called integration. So I'm going to tell you on how to integrate values. So let's say we have a question that says integrate for x in respect to dx. So whenever you come across a question like this, the first thing you have to do is that you must understand what type of integration is this. Because we have two major types of integration. One, we have integration of a definite integration. We have one, definite integration, and we have indefinite integration. So these are the two major types of integration that we have. So if you are talking about definite integration, a definite integration is an integration that has the upper limit and the lower limit. Let's say you have something like this. This will be the upper limit and this will be the what? The lower limit. So the upper limit is here. And we have the lower limit here. So this is what we call definite integration. But if you are not talking about the indefinite integration, the indefinite integration has to do with constant. E.g. If you have integral value for S, be yes. So if I'm going to integrate S here, I will get S raised to the power 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, put it here, plus what? C. So therefore, I'll say s raised to the power 2 over 2 plus c. So this is an example of a of an indefinite word integration. So we are not talking about definite upper limit and lower limit, indefinite, which is what a constant. Alright. Now moving away from this to solve this question now. You will see this is an integral value. This sign represents integral sign. That is integrate for s in respect to what the s. So if I'm going to integrate, the rule states that whenever you have s here, it has a power one plus one over all the power of the s. So I'm going to say one plus one all over one plus one plus c. So from here, I will now say is equal to 4s raised to the power 1 plus 1, 2 all over what? 2 plus c. From here now, we can say 2 year 1, 2 year 2. So that I will now have 2s raised to the power 2 plus c. That's the final answer. So therefore, if I integrate 4s, I will get 2s raised to the power 2. That is 4s raised to the power 1 plus 1 over all the power 1 plus 1 plus c, which is a constant, equal to 4s raised to the power 2 over 2 plus c. 2 cancel 2, 2 cancel 4, 2. We have 2s raised to the power 2 plus c. So this is an example of an indefinite bit. If I integrate 4s square, I mean 4s cubed plus 6s plus 1, I'm going to say 4x raised to the power 3, plus 1 over the power of s, 3 plus 1, plus 6s raised to the power of what? 1 plus 1 over the power of s, which is 1 plus 1 plus, if I integrate 1, it will give me x plus c. From here, I can now say 4x raised to the power of 4 over 4 plus 6s raised to the power of 2 over 2 plus x plus c so my final answer is now going to be 4 cancel 4 we have s raised to power 4 plus 2 year 1 2 year 3 3s raised to power 2 plus s plus c this will be the final answer to integrate this if we integrate x we're going to get x raised to the power of 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 which is the power of s minus if i integrate 1 we have s plus c which is equal to s raised to the power of 2 over 2 minus s plus c 
this is going to be the final answer u equal to what anything you have at the denominator which is m x plus c from here i'm going to say my du over ds equal to if i differentiate ms i'm going to have what m plus zero which is a constant so my final answer will be what m now from here i will now say my ds over du equal to one over m why because it is the inverse of this so from here now i can now say my integral value 1 over ms plus c is still the same thing as 1 integral value of 1 over ms plus c is what u are we getting that so from here now i can now say i will pick this 1 over m integral value of 1 over u so from here i will now say 1 over m so if i integrate 1 over u I will have what log u exponential plus c. I can now say my log u exponential over m plus c. But don't forget our log u exponential. U here is what m x plus c. I will now say m x plus c. That is log m x plus c exponential all over m plus c. So this is going to be the final answer.